In this video, I'm gonna be wiring up some outdoor plugs and lights. So to do this, I'm gonna use a GFCI breaker. This is gonna protect me outside from any kind of ground fault situations. And I'm gonna be wiring it up to my main panel, output panel in this video. Now this panel is neutral ground bonded and I do have my own grounding plate out in the garage. This is completely off grid by the way. So on the breaker itself, we have our breaker on off. And then on the back side, you can see that you have a brass screw. This is gonna be your load. And then you have just a regular silver screw, which is gonna be your neutral. It's also marked on the side for load. And then on this side here, it's marked for load neutral. So you never wanna back feed your GFCI breaker. In case of a storm or anything, you never wanna back feed your house at all. But if you have one of these hooked up to your sauna or anything, these are not meant to be back fed. That's why it says load side. There is a little electronic device in here that if this were to trip, that electronic device needs to deactivate. And if you're back feeding, it's not gonna deactivate. So you're gonna pop your expensive breaker. So do not back feed a GFCI. So I already have some cable run outside. This is some armor flex wire. It runs into my panel and I have my load wire and my neutral wire. And then I have my ground wire already on my neutral bar. These bar, this bar is bonded with the grounding bar, so I can put my ground wire on my neutral bar. So for this, what I'm gonna wanna do is open up the screw on the neutral side, and I'm gonna connect my two wires. So my neutral side is on the silver screw, and then my hot wire. And then now what happens is this little pigtail wire now becomes my neutral wire. So this neutral wire is gonna go into the neutral bar. And then what happens is this monitors between the neutral wire and the hot wire. And if it detects any little bit of milliamps, it will trip the breaker. And then I'm gonna tighten up my neutral bar. Just kind of tuck the wires in. It's looking a little messy in here. Okay, now to test this, I'm gonna fire up the grow watt and uh, see if this will trip and act like a proper GFCI. Okay, just firing up the grow watt now. Okay, my panel is now live. So I'm gonna flick on the GFCI and I'm gonna run a test and it works. So now we'll go outside and check the outdoor plugs and see if they're live as well. And we have power outside, GFCI protected. Okay, the only thing left to do now is to put the cover back on and that's it. Everything's hooked up. I'm GFCI protected on the outside of the house. Trailer, off-grid trailer. The thing I'm in right now. I've got the camera on in case I zap myself. And there we go, case is back on and that's it. We're GFCI protected now.